Hi everyone, my name is Philip, and this is another video for Philip's Take On DDS CAD. I have received some questions uh, regarding how to create lightning protection in DDS CAD. Well, in this video, I will show you how you can easily create a lightning protection based on Faraday cage. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! Before I start the modeling, I will measure the roof surface using the dimension function. So I'll click here and here, enter and attach, click here, click here, enter and left click. Now I will activate the lightning protection uh, working mode and I will use these connections interface fittings uh, function. I will use this binding pose to create the, the cage and in the rod pause scale tab I will just increase the 2D symbol to, to be more uh, better visible in the, in the floor plan like this. I will insert this binding post as a group so right mouse click and select the option place symmetrical on the surface and I will select the surface as indicated in, in green. We see here that this group has the distance dx and the distance dy with 10 as the maximum offset. I have previously set this. So I would like to have the maximum offset uh, of the conductors of 10 meters. But we see here that with this option I have 6 uh, conductors in the X direction and two in the Y direction. To optimize this, I will decrease the distance in a DY to 9.8, press tab, and we have uh, one more row. And in a DX, I will insert 9.1. And I have also a new column. So at the end, I would like, as calculated, to have seven uh, conductors in the X direction and three conductors in the Y direction. Now we'll click OK and escape to close that function. Now I will left click to select this, uh, this group, right mouse click and I will select this option connect T's in symbol area to create the grid cage. Now I will select the type of conductor. I will open the product database and I will select a rectangular conductor, this bar. Click OK and I will select the orientation flat. And the grid is created. Now let's see the result in 3D. OK, the grid is good. But we see here that with this uh, area here, this uh, binding pole should be on the top. If I press and hold Ctrl or Shift, if I press and hold Shift, uh, over this endpoint, we see that the third coordinate is 6.13. So the, the height of this knot is 6.13. What I will do, I will double click this binding post and in the tab rod pause scale, I will change the Z, uh, Z coordinate to 6.13. Zoom out. We see that we created a, a pyramid uh, geometry with these conductors. I will fix this. So in the front view, we see this geometry. And if I left click this uh, segment, I can left click this insert node. And I will click here and contour this area. And now press escape. I would do the same with this segment on the right. Contour here, click here, and escape. Now I'm going to the side view, and I will make the same. Click on the on the white node, click here, click here, and escape. Select the, the segment, click here, click here, and escape. Now, let's go back to the 3D view to see the result. Yes. 
So far, so good. Let's go back to 2D. The lightning protection must be created always in the same level. So I won't change to another story. So to, to let these, the conductor to, to the ground, I will activate the 3D mode, the 3D view, and I'm going to the important model manager in a tab Ghost Story Discipline. I will activate the floor below like this. And if I press and hold control over this this point, we see that the this uh, the height uh, in reference to the level we have active is minus twelve point seventeen. Now I can come back to two D, and I will activate the light protection mounted visible, and I will connect to this binding post, and in the product database. I will switch to a circular conductor. I will move down and now I will press a hotkey page down and I will type minus 12.5. And then I will right mouse click and end with a product. In the product database, I will select the category earthing rods and I will select this earth bar cross earth bar tube earth. Okay. Now I could just select this segment and this earth object symbol and copy paste. Press tab to change the insertion point and just insert for each of these binding posts. Now let's see the result in 3D. Furthermore, we can directly create a parts list of these components. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, put a comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!